Again, this is the entry view. This is the, uh, and uh, you see it's not quite as grand a house, but it's got the detail. It's got the beautiful woodwork. The, the fireplaces aren't hand carved marble, but they're beautiful wood and tiles. The, the floors aren't oak, they're pine. But you know, everything works, everything looks good. Um, this stuff on the, on the walls here, that's all through the house, it's called the Presta. And it's uh, supposed to look like tin, uh, pounded tin or leather or something, but it's just a, a molded kind of stuff out of sawdust and glue or something. It's, but I mean, it looks great. Yeah, it looks beautiful. But it's in all the wainscoting and the, the, the different panels of the roof. I mean, the, the, uh, the different panels around the house. This is the, the main parlor here. Um, this. Um, would, of course, be able to be separated from the rest of the house. Excuse me, oh, sir. Let me just show everybody that these slider doors would close together and uh, completely shut it off. So during the day, if somebody came in, they wouldn't be able to look in here or go in here because this was private. This is where you would bring your, 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 your you know, the owners would bring their, their uh, best company and they would show off their artwork and their that big uh, beautiful Chinese archway would be right here in this part of the um, entry <coughs> and uh, they moved it back there just to keep it out of the couch and, and so forth. Yeah. So this is the way it was. <coughs> they would put down a uh, rug, lay the rugs on the floor, they would have Stereoscopes, and uh, they would. Uh, they had an old gramophone over there, and a, an organ. This organ. Uh, oh, let's say a, this a little one. Out, out of uh, context, because this organ was in the, the uh, church on the street, and it still works. And uh, be, be usually at the, uh, the candlelight uh, vigil they have uh, at Christmas time, they have somebody come in and play this. And it, it works great, so it shakes the whole house. It's so cool. Yeah. It's really a, a wonderful old instrument. As we came in, I noticed back in the back here, uh, those, that's uh, red glass. Is that original? Yeah, yeah, the red glass really? there is. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's, uh, okay. I think one of the panes was broken. Oh, and, yeah. it's, but most of it's <laughs> broken. and this is a this is a real weird part of the uh, Victorian era kind of um, sensibility. Uh, does everybody know what this is? It's what women would put around the hair back then? Well, that, that is hair. <laughs> that is a woman's hair. And when somebody died, oh, they would, save. you know, they'd save it and they'd frame it or they'd make it into bracelets or, or rings or earrings or something. That they, they would, you know, they would do that. They would take pictures of the dead people and, and uh, Sitting around the table with them, they bring in a little dead granny and sit at the table just for a, a keepsake. <clears throat> Why not? Why not? You know, and this is the uh, this is the dining room, and I call it the uh, the room of wallpaper because this place is uh, it's fancy. 
if yeah, when, whenever in doubt the, in Victoria, I mean, let's do more rather than less. I mean, more was always better. So mm -hmm. you, you have the, the, the Robert Morse uh, wallpaper, the, the green and, and uh, kind of uh, pale green uh, floral, then you go up to border, uh, a metallic, and then a green, and a red, and a floral again. And then you got the Star Trek stuff, which is on the ceiling, which, okay. is, which is original, which is original. So it, it's really amazing. The, the, the amount of it. Yeah. And, and if you notice, in all the light pictures in this house, half of them point up and half of them point down. Um, can anybody guess why? Tell me out. Sure. No? To give uh, more reflection onto the ceiling and the wall. It's because the electric lights were starting to come in in, in eight, the late 1800s. So now you could have So now you could have them. But they were so undependable that they kept their gas lights too. So the gas light and the, the electric light uh, feeds would be through the same stem. So there were all kinds of fires and sparks, and, and it was it was a tremendous, uh, difficult transition from gas to electric. But uh, you know, they finally did make it. And after a while, they started separating, of course, and having maybe uh, wall stones and different gas. And, uh, so, but in the beginning, they, they kept them in the same picture. Mm -hmm. That's like Chuck Pitt. Yeah. Such a large pocket doors. I know. They're huge. They really are. Yeah, I love it too. Mm -hmm. And this is the kitchen. This is part of the kitchen. I tend to think that the kitchen for out of the side, especially for the morning, I'll have to be bigger. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, yeah, they've got a big pantry, and then this back here, back here, is a stand up here and plug it into the out, uh, the uh, electric fitting somehow and then you just click it on and you know you watch till the <laughs> till the post was ready and you know you flip it out <coughs> so that was uh, that so you right? plug it literally into like the well, electrical outlet yeah you didn't have to be wire. there were no there were no outlets in the walls in those days so yeah they baby had, chair yeah the old, uh, you know Wow. And then behind you there on the wall is the intercom. Um, wasn't very fancy. You just yell up to uh, the third floor and you say, are, are, are you coming down today for dinner? And uh, so the, 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 if this was a boarding house, the, you know, the, the kitchen was going almost 24 hours a day. I mean, there's no, no rest for the staff here. This was the place. Nossa, capital. Huh? Huh? 